Have you ever wondered why Antarctica, a continent not discovered until 1820, appears on ancient maps? Join us as we explore the groundbreaking discoveries made by Graham Hancock, the daring archaeologist who believes Antarctica holds secrets that challenge the very essence of human history. Welcome back to our channel that takes you on thrilling journeys through history and mysteries. Before we dive into today's exploration, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our latest adventures. Now let's uncover the mysteries hidden in the icy depths of Antarctica. Graham Hancock, a maverick in the world of archaeology, has been pushing boundaries and challenging conventional wisdom. Starting as a journalist for renowned publications like The Guardian and The Times, Hancock took a bold turn in his career to pursue his passion for uncovering the mysteries of the past. In his groundbreaking 1995 publication, Fingerprints of the Gods, Hancock proposed the audacious idea of an advanced civilization predating the ancient Egyptians. His theories challenge established views, sparking debates about lost civilizations and unexplained phenomena. Now, what's got Hancock in a frenzy? The icy expanse of Antarctica. He believes that ancient maps, like the Perry Race map from the 16th century, depict a pre-ice Antarctica. This idea raises questions about the conventional timeline of human civilization. Hancock's theory suggests that a technologically advanced civilization existed long before our current understanding of history, but mainstream scientists argue that Antarctica has been ice-covered for millions of years. The clash of ideas creates a riveting controversy in the scientific community. Hancock's work extends beyond Antarctica. His theories propose a global exchange of knowledge by a lost civilization, influencing societies like the Egyptians, Sumerians, and Mayans. He explores megalithic structures worldwide, suggesting an advanced prehistoric society. Hancock's claim of ancient maps revealing an ice-free Antarctica is met with skepticism. Critics argue that the accuracy could be coincidental or based on limited exploratory data. However, supporters see these maps as evidence of a forgotten civilization's knowledge. Let's delve into the compelling alignment between recent geological studies and Graham Hancock's theories regarding Antarctica. In recent years, geological research has brought forth evidence that resonates with Hancock's unconventional ideas. These studies propose that specific regions of Antarctica were astonishingly ice-free approximately 12,000 years ago, a time frame that intriguingly aligns with Hancock's proposed timeline for a lost civilization flourishing on the continent. The significance of this alignment lies in the geological indicators that have been uncovered. Researchers examining sediment cores and geological formations have identified periods in Antarctica's history where certain regions were not encased in ice. The dating of these ice-free periods remarkably coincides with the era that Hancock suggests a technologically advanced civilization could have thrived on the icy expanse. This geological evidence challenges the prevailing understanding that Antarctica has been perpetually shrouded in ice for millions of years. Instead, it paints a picture of a dynamic and ever-changing environment where portions of Antarctica experienced periods of relative warmth and ice-free conditions. Such findings provide a compelling backdrop to Hancock's claims of a lost civilization, raising questions about the adaptability and resilience of ancient societies in environments we traditionally perceive as inhospitable. The correlation between geological data and Hancock's proposed timeline introduces a layer of credibility to his theories. It suggests that the timing of the potential flourishing civilization coincides with climatic conditions that could have made certain regions of Antarctica habitable. This correlation also underscores the importance of interdisciplinary research as geological studies collaborate with archaeological and historical perspectives to piece together the puzzle of Antarctica's past. However, it's crucial to note that scientific inquiry thrives on skepticism and rigorous scrutiny. While the alignment is captivating, ongoing research and further exploration are essential to corroborate these findings. The interdisciplinary approach, involving experts from various scientific fields, continues to be paramount in ensuring a comprehensive and accurate understanding 
of Antarctica's complex history. In essence, the connection between geological studies and Hancock's proposed timeline adds a fascinating layer to the ongoing exploration of Antarctica's enigmatic past. It invites us to reconsider the conventional narratives surrounding the continent and prompts a re-evaluation of the possibilities that may be hidden beneath the layers of ice waiting to be unveiled by future scientific endeavors. Now let's dive deeper into Hancock's remarkable expedition to Antarctica. Despite facing extreme conditions, he and his team embarked on a daring mission to uncover the mysteries hidden beneath the icy surface. Armed with advanced technology, they utilized ground-penetrating radar, a cutting-edge tool designed to penetrate the layers of ice and reveal what lies beneath. As the radar scanned the frozen landscape, it unveiled something extraordinary, a distinctive grid-like pattern beneath the ice. This intricate arrangement hinted at structured anomalies resembling a potential city layout. The implications of this discovery were nothing short of groundbreaking, capturing the attention of both enthusiasts and skeptics alike. For skeptics, this revelation posed a challenge to conventional beliefs. The structured anomalies beneath the ice suggested the possibility of a prehistoric civilization that thrived in Antarctica, defying the common narrative that perceives the continent as a desolate, uninhabitable region. The very notion of organized structures beneath the ice raises questions about the history of human civilization and challenges established timelines. The discovery also fueled the excitement of enthusiasts and supporters of Hancock's theories. It provided tangible evidence that aligned with his unconventional ideas about advanced civilizations predating our conventional understanding of history. The potential city layout hinted at the existence of a complex society with architectural and organizational skills far beyond what mainstream archaeology typically attributes to ancient cultures. As the expedition team processed and analyzed the radar data, the implications of the grid-like pattern began to sink in. If further exploration and research could confirm the nature of these anomalies, it might open a new chapter in our understanding of human history. The idea of an advanced prehistoric civilization residing in Antarctica, with evidence hidden beneath the ice, challenges us to reconsider our assumptions about the past and re-evaluate the true extent of human capabilities in ancient times. In the quest for knowledge, Hancock's Antarctica expedition stands as a pivotal moment, urging us to explore beyond the boundaries of traditional archaeology and embrace the possibility of uncovering profound insights into the mysteries of our past. The anticipation for what lies beneath the ice continues to fuel the curiosity of researchers, historians, and enthusiasts, prompting us to eagerly await further revelations that could reshape our understanding of human civilization. In conclusion, Graham Hancock's expedition to Antarctica isn't just about uncovering artifacts, it's about challenging the very foundations of our understanding of human history. As we await further exploration beneath the icy surface, remember to keep questioning, exploring, and never stop seeking the truth. Thanks for joining us on this expedition. If you enjoyed the journey, hit the like button, share with fellow explorers, and don't forget to subscribe for more mind-blowing episodes. Until next time.